Good morning, welcome to Bitcoin Bounce. I trust it's going well. Today we're going to look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is at a very low support level and uh, if you haven't bought Bitcoin yet, I believe this will be a very good spot uh, to DCA in because Bit Bitcoin is pulling back almost to uh, its yearly low. So uh, that's, uh, you know, in any scenario would be a wonderful buy. Now Bitcoin over the years has been probably the best investment that you could have made if you 10 or 13 years ago when Bitcoin started bought Bitcoin there's literally nothing on this earth that you could have bought then that would have multiplied so many times in value uh, not a crypto not a stock not a business uh, nothing grew as much as Bitcoin so Bitcoin is a fantastic um, uh, asset uh, to own and so that's why today is a very good place to buy Many people expect a Bitcoin of $100,000, $250,000 and even a million dollars. And uh, uh, Steve from Crypto Crew University came out with an analysis and I'm going to quickly just show you on a chart what he thinks will happen. So here I am on a 4 hour chart and you can see uh, Bitcoin had that big drop uh, in the middle of June uh, earlier this year. And now Bitcoin is in a range between $18,500 and $24,500. And the expectation is that well, Bitcoin will do this uh, maybe for another month or two. It might even dip a little bit lower. But in essence, this is the range that Bitcoin uh, is trading in right now. Okay. Uh, now, what Steve is saying is this won't last a long um, uh, time. It could last maybe another three uh, to six months and then Bitcoin will start to surge. Now when I go to a longer t time frame, this is a weekly chart and you look here uh, at where Bitcoin is, then you can see we are trapped in this 18,500 to 24,500 range. Uh, but what Steve thinks will happen with Bitcoin is he thinks Bitcoin will do this. It will go up maybe close to the all time high and then come back and might even break the the yearly low uh, and then you know do this and, and go up again and even come down another time and do this about two or three times before it eventually buy, break through uh, the $70,000 uh, market cap and then move to the upside. And so if you look on this chart, just this little ugly picture that I drew here, you can see you know uh, if, it, if it would go up in this area that will go up uh, at the end of 2024. Uh, but it could possibly uh, go up even 2025, 2026. Now, what's interesting if you go and look at the stock markets, all of the markets does a surge to the upside and then it does about a five year um, area where it kind of just consolidates and then it does a surge again. And so the market works in cycles. Now, we've in Bitcoin really only seen the up cycle, we've never seen really a long period of consolidation for Bitcoin. Now the reason why Steve thinks that we are in a period of consolidation is, um, let me just close this, is because of this double top in this area. So we had a high and I remember I bought in in this area uh, and then I took profit and then I bought again in that area but then we had another high but we measured this area we expected you know we drew a line like this and we expected in those days for Bitcoin to do that you know that's why no one saw that double top coming they thought Bitcoin was going to go to the $80,000 range uh, and so then what happened uh, let me just close that again uh, what happened? Bitcoin started to fall. It did that same support level uh, and it retraced back. And then we thought, okay, this is a higher low. Now Bitcoin is going to go to $80,000. You know, so the expectation when this happened, we thought, okay, we're going to go to you know, these $82,000. That's what we thought was going to happen. But, uh, meanwhile, we actually already turned berries on Bitcoin and we were on our way down. Okay, so this is what, what Steve thinks uh, will happen. Um, he also did an interesting video a few days ago we reckoned that I think it was in May of 2025 if I remember correctly uh, then we will eat a target of something like um, uh, 70 or 80 thousand uh, dollars not 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 very high um, so I don't think this is a time for Bitcoin to search uh, but 
we might see another $60,000 Bitcoin uh, within this next year. So let's jump in and listen to what Steve says in his video. What I'm going to share with you is something about what happened with the Dow Jones during this entire period and something that happened with the Dow Jones again during this entire period. Usually, these periods happen after extraordinary growth and the markets needed to build a base. They didn't build a base for a week or two weeks or, or three weeks. They built a base for years because the growth rate was just too substantial and the markets needed to cool off and create a strong base and foundation for the next run. And once we had that next run and everyone became you know, very, very wealthy, we had another period of extremely slow growth. And there are signals in here. And there's things that happen in this type of a scenario that we see happening with Bitcoin. Bitcoin recently made a double top. Now, it didn't capture the attention of a lot of folks, but Bitcoin has never made a double top. You can see the top here. You can see the top here, the top here, the top here. We've never made a double top. And what's really concerning is that both of these scenarios started with a double top. The scenario back here, in 1965, back in the good old days, if you were alive then, you can see that this top turned into a double top in 1969, and then a triple top in 73, and then a quadruple top in 76, and it took us literally 16 and a half years to recover. And by the way, this chart is a shout out to Excavo. Maybe somebody can message him, maybe you can message him and tell them that we gave him a shout out. But make no mistake these markets happen in cycles and when you have extraordinary growth like we did from this bottom to this top we had to have a slowdown period we had to create a strong foundation in order to have an actual next bull run okay this always happens in markets especially markets that are very very hot they need to cool off and create a foundation there's nothing hotter than bitcoin Nothing. Nothing on earth has grown faster than Bitcoin. Nothing. You could have taken your money and put it in anything in the past 13 years and nothing would have earned you as much of a return as Bitcoin. That's not my opinion. That's a fact. Bitcoin has never had a double top. Bitcoin has been hot, white hot, and blue hot its entire life, right? It only knows hot. Now, the question would be, what would cause sideways move for multiple years like this it started back here in the 60s with a double top and it started back here in the year 1999 and 2000 and 2001 was a double and triple top that's how it started and then it took 13 and a half years to recover from this and it started with a double top it took 16 and a half years to recover from this and it started with a double top the double top was our warning you can see none of these others were double tops on the whole ride up it was just white hot on the whole ride up here white hot no double tops but it started with a double top that triggered a train reaction and it took many 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 years to recover so the question becomes could this actually happen with Bitcoin? How long would it last? And what would it look like? On our videos, we always provide a perspective that's new and fresh and unique. That's why you just subscribed. You don't see anybody else talking about this, this idea and having it be based on facts. You don't see it. That's why you come to our channel. We don't tell you what you want to hear. We tell you what's actually true in the charts. That's why you just hit that subscribe button. Now, I want to talk about what it would actually look like if Bitcoin moved sideways for a handful of years, right? Because everybody it would agree that Bitcoin is going to reach 100K in our next bull run. I don't think there'll be many people that say, ah, I don't think so, except for folks that follow our channel, because we've also based that on facts. But now you've got further evidence that it might not just be a not 100K this year. It might not be 100K in the following year, and the following year after that, and the following year after that, and the following year after that. It might be a while until we reach 100K. We might be in this kind of a pattern similar to here. Would it be for 13 and a half years? No, I really doubt it. Would it be for 16 and a half years? No. Bitcoin moves a lot faster than these markets, and I would suspect it'll be a lot less. We'll talk about how long in a moment, but I want to start with what would it actually look like? Okay, because we started with a double top. 
So we have to have to, have to ask ourselves, is this a sign of what's to come, right? We have our base down here. We don't know where the bottom is, in, is yet. We have projected that the bottom is in as of a little over 90 days ago, but let's hypothetically say the bottom's not in. We swing down here and then we come back up and we have another uh, top up here and then we come back down and we have a top down or we, or we bottom back out and then we have another top. I mean, we're already in 2025, right? You could see what's happened in the past. Now, this is where things get interesting because this really goes against the grain and I like our videos to really go against the grain. I like to make you a little bit uncomfortable with facts because what you talk about with your friends in crypto is only Bitcoin going to 250,000 to half a million and it seems like it's 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 a done deal that it's already happened that it's 100% certainty that's going to happen. And that's where you get into trouble with markets. There's never a certainty in markets. You can see this growth rate from the year 1982 to the year 2000 was astronomical. And everybody thought that growth rate was going to continue. Everybody. And that's where markets take you by surprise. Markets are designed to take the majority by surprise. They always do. And you can look back even 100 years ago, 200 years ago, anything that's represented money has always taken people by surprise. And the surprise comes in the form of greed. Every human has greed. There's no human on earth that doesn't have any greed. And greed is really troublesome in markets because that's where you can cloud your judgment and it will take advantage of you, right? So it started with a simple double top back in the 60s. It started with a simple double top back in 1999 and it took years and years and years to recover. What could Bitcoin potentially do? How likely is this to happen? What's my honest opinion? How likely? Is it, is it like a 5% chance or is it like a 50% chance? That's a big difference. So let's discuss that now. Is it, is it a small chance? I would say this. This is definitely a chance because we've shown some early signs. Bitcoin has been white hot. We've clearly been slowing down. You can see our growth right here, slowed a little bit here, slowed quite a bit here, and slowed dramatically here. Bitcoin is showing signs that it's ready to take a little bit of a breather and have a, a handful of year period like this. And by the way, this would surprise everybody, right? This top not being 100K, not being 250,000, not being quarter million, it would take everybody by surprise, especially if we crashed all the way back down to a similar bottom or lower, which could happen. So I wanted to present you the next five years of Bitcoin may not be what you expect. It may not be what you want, and it may not be what you consider to be a certainty because there are no certainties in markets. Markets will always surprise you. They will always throw a curveball at you, and it always comes when you are too emotional and you're too emotionally attached to an outcome that in your mind is a certainty. So we need to keep this into consideration. Do we know with certainty this is going to happen? No. What's the probability? I would say it's a coin flip right now. It's a 50-50. We need further evidence to come into the charts. We need to know how are we going to act when we get up near 70k? Are we going to see a lot of problems? Are we going to see some red flags? You want to look at the size of the candles when you get closer to our next top, right? You go on to look at the size of the candle. Are we getting bigger and bigger and bigger candles? Then we're gonna burst through this 70. Are the candles getting smaller and smaller and smaller? Are we showing a lot of wicks up here? We could be in for some turmoil. If next year, sometime in the middle of 2023, we're approaching this number and we crash back down, we're in for a handful of years of having sideways action. It's just a fact. But again, it doesn't mean the market's dead. It actually means the market's incredibly healthy. This was the most healthy time we could have ever had because it built this foundation for us to have this next run. Same with here. And I suspect it'll be no different. Thank you for watching. We're gonna be back here again and I'm gonna have Dion with me and we're gonna do an analysis of uh, the Bitcoin charts especially on the short term. And Dion is also going to give us some signals to trade for today. Have a nice day.